Thank you, Mr. Tsuihua. Our next speaker will present a joint research on quantifying tourism in city destinations towards better understanding of urban tourism. It's a joint research by UN Tourism and WTCF, and will um, be presented by Senior Project Manager, UN Tourism, uh, Ms. Lorena Villar. Please welcome Lorena. Hello, guten Abend, good afternoon. Thank you very much for attending this session. I know it's a difficult time. I'm positive it's been a long day uh, in the trade show. I would like to thank also the World Tourism Cities Federation for the invitation to present the key findings of this joint report just released, titled Quantifying Tourism in City Destinations Towards a Better Understanding of Urban Tourism. The report. The report is not intended to be a technical report. It's just an assessment of the current situation of tourism data at the city level. And it explores the feasibility of creating a global urban tourism database. And why urban tourism data is so important? As you know, tourism is one of the major drivers of many cities, and only with comparable and good quality data, we will be able to analyze, analyze this impact, the impact of urban tourism on cities, and also estimate the value and the size globally. It will allow also uh, gathering this data, it will allow the comparison and benchmarking between cities, so cities can cooperate and can, can find synergies among them. On the other side, not only uh, public institutions will benefit from this data in the sustainable management and planning on the, of destinations, but also the, another stakeholders within the tourism sector, such as the private sector, will benefit of this data. These insights are needed in order to optimize products and create new services, etc. And being tourism a sector that is transversal in a city, within the city domains, it has got other domains within the city, such as housing, for example, um, urban infrastructure, mobility, uh, fiscal policy, so such data will be very relevant as well beyond the tourism sector. So the methodology, how we, are, we, we have done this assessment, this, this assessment on the urban tourism data globally. We have done a liter literature review and analysis, um, comparing and studying 22 cities uh, city destinations around the world, covering Africa, Amer the Americas, Asia, the Pacific, Europe, and the Middle East. And the cities included in the report are either capital cities or major getaways. The objectives, the identification of existing data sources and uh, data, data indicators related to urban tourism, exploration of new data sources and, uh, <coughs> and data indicators on urban tourism, and the evaluation of the feasibility of creating a global urban tourism database. Key findings. I don't have so much time, so I'm going to be very quick with the key findings. So we, we found out the study revealed that while there are multiple frameworks and standards to measure tourism, some of them are unsuitable for a lower territorial scales. And that leads to a misalignment on data management, the, and, and that prevents comparability across cities. And on the other side, what um, the study uh, revealed is that um, there are uh, existing databases on urban tourism, but there isn't a global urban tourism database. So the databases right now are 
uh, mainly based in Europe, uh, compiled uh, Europe information, um, but there isn't a global with a, with a um, global outreach. Similarities across the, the categories on urban tourism indicators. You'll find accommodation, uh, accommodation indicators, international and domestic tourism, the second most collected indicators, uh, socioeconomics related to, to the employment, to the local the economical impact of tourism at the local level, the, the expenditure, the transport, and then other categories not included in the, the, one, the ones that I just mentioned. Regarding the common indicators, what we found is number one, uh, number of arrivals, very important, the number of accommodation establishments, number of rooms, bed places, guest nights, all related to supply and demand of accommodation services, occupancy rate, and average length of stay. Regarding the data sources, I already linked to the data, indi the indicators selected, which are accommodation data, uh, information from transport monitors, which is sometimes complemented with visitor surveys. And the, um, the study also highlights the importance and the relevance of the big, da big data sources. But it highlights also that it's this use of, of data is mostly done on experimental ad hoc basis. So it prevents comparability along the time. Regarding the data collection and reporting agencies, we find at the relevant ministries at the national level, st statistical offices at the national level, local governments and uh, tourism authorities, local level, and regional government authorities. Main challenges. I don't have time to go through all of them, but I will highlight two main challenges. The lack of avail availability, which is related to the um, availability of funds and sources, skills, <coughs> excuse me, uh, skills and sources for data collection and reporting, and on the other side, the lack of comparability, which depends on, uh, which relies on conceptual differences and methodological differences. Um, the challenges are now the, the use of the big data, uh, new sources of information. There are still many, many challenges in the use of these <coughs> excuse me, data sources, which are the accessibility and availability, because this type of data um, sometimes is very costly, <coughs> depends on third parties, they, and it also prevents comparability, because in most cases it is on an experimental basis. <coughs> and then, Issues related to the privacy of laws and regulations and the quality of data, which sometimes is contaminated and needs to be uh, processed and it's time consuming. And of course, the skills needed to gather and collect, collect and report this data. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> and to sum up, I just would like to highlight some considerations, some recommendations of what should be done if we want to create a database on urban tourism. What should be done? The proposals are identification of the set, set um, of indicators for the basis of a global urban tourism database in cities, Revision of conceptual differences, territorial scope, and tourism products and services. The unit of analysis. Revision of comparability of data collection methods linked to the selected indicators. And to the extent, and to, to what extent these methods can be harmonized. And when harmonization is not or partially possible, Revision of the strategies that enable local authorities to collect data in the most efficient manner. 
revision of very important sources and skills because some municipalities or cities uh, sometimes they don't have the, sk the skills and sources to maintain a, a local tourism, tourism data database. And uh, on the other side, the revision of mechanisms to provide support uh, through funding, knowledge, and exchange platforms and partnership, partnerships for this data collection. My time is over. Just wanted to highlight two takeaways. It's a global urban tourism database that enables better understanding and benchmarking of urban tourism size as, as, and value is needed. And tourism data should expand also into the social and the environmental dimensions, especially at the local level where the most challenges arise. arise. Thank you very much. This is the QR code in case you would like to dive into the publication, you can download it for free through the QR code. Thank you very much for your attention.